Lockdown 2020, day 44. It's burger time. That's right, my family is hungry, so it's time for me to try to catch the house on fire again, or at least the grill. These guys are watching the last Harry Potter movie. Sarah has added some wonderful new lighting to the outdoor table. And this is how you fix something. Nice job, baby. Didn't fix it. You didn't fix it? It's like not. This is how you try to fix something. Yeah. I'm still impressed. The next. <laughs> The next morning. So my schedule is all out of whack. I barely filmed anything yesterday and it's a horribly inconvenient day to feel like I just want to do nothing because I have a ton of stuff I have to do. David Lopez needs me to film my parts for a video that he filmed his parts for and I have to send them off to his editor and he really wants me to do that today and I probably have to do that like in the next hour or two before it gets too dark and it's like overcast. Evan doesn't want to do his homework. Jonna doesn't want to get out of bed. The kitchen a mess and I just want to go back to sleep but I can't which sucks so Evan is actually in his room reading we tried to set him up with this little workstation here in his room thinking there might be fewer distractions but <laughs> what was I thinking there are plenty of distractions in his room Jonah that is not typing I know you're pretending to type and do your work on <laughs> in, in your class work and stuff but that oh hi is everyone just gonna come in here you got puppies and puppies Anytime you want to get up, start your day, join society, contribute some to the house, come on and do it, Jonah. All right, I'm uh, I'm ready for my petty. No. <laughs> Hello, adorable little chapstick. You are now my child. You are my favorite daughter. This one has been disowned because she refuses to get out of bed. You are now the heiress of my fortune, and you get everything. You hear that, Jonah? You've, you've been replaced by lip balm. I'm not fortune. Oh, yeah, what fortune is right. So enough futzing around, fluffing around. I gotta go review this script and figure out how to film these shots. I'm not actually sure what shots I need to get. Yesterday, all my troubles were just as close as today. La, da, 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 da. This kitchen's a mess. Anyone care it to help me clean it up? <laughs> I'm losing my mind! It's time for my daily computer crash where I can't get anything to do anything. Nothing responds. I can't reboot it. I'm gonna have to hit the power button on the back of the computer. This is super discouraging. This is really cool. Yes. This is my workout. I can't go to the gym, so I'm just getting this workout. One more fun update. A few months ago, I upgraded my Mac, which broke my invoicing software, and I haven't been able to access any of my old invoices or financial information or invoice any new customers. So today I'm attempting a time machine backup recovery from like three months ago to roll my OS back so I can hopefully access that data and export it in some sort of usable format so the new version of the software can use it. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Well, my uh, restore from backup is going well. I'll see you guys in 150, 152 hours, sorry, 153 hours. Guys, I'll see you in 154 hours. It's freaking cursed. <laughs> Does it still work? I want to give it a throw. Don't hit anyone's car. Why are you winding it up first? Just smash it. Teach your children well. Don't hit a car. Guys, we're on a wild African safari through the grass and then we pop and we're, nope, we're still in our neighborhood. Hey, do you guys like bubble wrap? No, oh, that's not around. I can't see what's going on. So Evan, do you know what we're doing here right now? No. We just took a break from our regular vlog to do a segment called Josh Darn It Doesn't Know How to Do Anything, even though he's 45 years old. It's not really what it's called. But basically, as you know, I have to talk a little quiet because this is a surprise for Jonna. Jonna is a vegetarian, and so there's a lot of dishes and things that we like to make that she doesn't get to participate in. So I specifically went online, shh, 
and I bought this, Vegetarian Better Than Bouillon, and the whole purpose of this was I wanted to try to find a recipe for Spanish rice or Mexican rice that had flavoring, because they usually call for bouillon or, or chicken broth or something like that. So luckily, the first recipe I looked for, for vegetarian rice cooker Mexican rice, called for this exact product. Total coincidence. We had almost all the other uh, ingredients. We've got these diced tomatoes. Um, we didn't have chili powder, but I'm reading that you can use taco seasoning. So it's basically just tomatoes, bouillon, rice, taco seasoning. I'm gonna throw in a little salt and pepper. I forget to turn off things on this because I'm filming and I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna throw these things into this rice cooker and set it and then in tomorrow's video, you will see Jonah's reaction Ooh, to it. Ground black pepper. Ground black pepper. All right, so let's just do this. Got the recipe here on my phone. The thing I love about rice cookers is you just put everything right into this and then it's good to go. You got water on me. I'm sorry. Easy Spanish rice for the rice cooker. Two cups of rice, one can of diced tomatoes with the juice, three and a half cups of water, one small onion diced, gotta dice that onion, uh, one to three tablespoons of chili powder, I'm gonna go with three tablespoons of this taco seasoning, one teaspoon of salt, cumin or smoked cumin, and garlic powder. So I need to get the garlic powder and the cumin and the onion. Be right back. Gonna have to do a little more improvising because it says one small onion, and I've only got this pretty big onion, so I'm gonna do about half this onion. But improvising is what you do when you're Josh and you don't know how to do anything. So I'm just gonna chop some onions. Oh no. I'm tired. I normally stand when I chop onions, this is hard. Guys, this is why it's called Josh Darn It Doesn't Know How To Do Anything. Ah, my eyes are burning! <laughs> okay, close enough. And we are using jasmine rice, because that's what we have. Because that's what I like. Why? This water thing pours really crappy, so I'm just gonna do it like this to be safe. You wanna do it? Ha <laughs> ha, I did it. He did it. Yeah. So three bouillon cubes or three teaspoons of better than bouillon. I'm, I haven't even opened this yet. Alexa, how many teaspoons are in one tablespoon? One tablespoon is three teaspoons. So why doesn't it say one tablespoon? All right, well, that is... Josh darn it cooks, can I pour it in? Ew, this stuff's messy. Yeah, go for it. Try to get it all in. Do I have to refrigerate this now that it's open? Reduced sodium, refrigerate after opening. See how there's water in there? Yeah. So I can stick it in there and kind of stir it and clean the spoon off inside there. Cooking with Josh Darn It and that's incredible. Ew. Objects like onions. It didn't actually work very good, so I'm using my finger. Don't worry, I just washed my hands. One, two, three. I hate to waste this stuff. Cumin is one of my favorites. Bam, cumin. Ooh, this is gonna make a mess. This is not how you do it, but I'm in a hurry. There you go. Half teaspoon of garlic powder and Finally, this can of diced tomatoes. What about the pepper? It doesn't actually call for pepper. I just grabbed that before I looked at the ingredients. I'm gonna put some pepper in though. This looks kind of good. All right, those are all the ingredients. Let's, let's stir them together real quick. I'm gonna stir it. Carefully stir it with that so it doesn't slosh around. I wanna kind of show them what we're working with here. Let me give it a couple last stirs real quick. Ew, that cumin. Did you just taste it? Yeah. It's got raw tomatoes in it. Oh, wait. This actually looks really good, guys. Here, I'm gonna grab the camera Put so the you can cumin. see. It. So this is what it looks like in there. So we've got rice in there. All right, well, let's do it. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna stick it in this and hit a couple buttons and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna gamble here. We're gonna throw it in. I'm gonna close it. My options are steam white rice or brown rice. I'm gonna gamble and just hit white rice. It doesn't say. It doesn't say what to do, so hopefully we get lucky. So that's it, guys. That's the vlog. Tune in next time if you wanna see how this rice turned out. We're gonna reveal to Jana. We're gonna let her taste it, and you can get her review, her honest review. Peace out, the internet.